<laughs> popped off today. <laughs> movie database website, IMDB. You ever Google that? You know, see who's in a movie or whatever? Uh, apparently, they're going to have to remove the age of some actors under a new law in California. Eh? That's oh. right. So the law forces subscription websites used by casting services to remove age information if asked. So the Screen Actors Guild says it will prevent age discrimination for actors who wish to keep their age private. Wow. Hmm. What do you guys think? You know, I was looking somebody up the other day, and I noticed that it just said born, whatever, Riverside, mm -hmm. California. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was no associated birthday, which struck me as odd. I'd never seen that before. But I wonder if that has anything to do with this. Quite possibly. And, you know, stars that get to a certain age, they start lying about their age, mm -hmm. we're told, anyway. They get stuck at, like, 37 mm -hmm. right. for a long time. I'm 29. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. Stay there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the sports world is mourning the loss of a golf legend today. Arnold Palmer died Sunday evening. He was 87 years old. Iconic guy, right. right? Known as the king. Everyone from Tiger Woods to the president shared statements about his passing. Off the field, he was known for his charisma, his style, taking the game to a different level, sort of elevating it from stuffy country club, you know, rich man's mm -hmm. game to sort of mm -hmm. uh, populist um, you know, hero and icon. He even has a drink named after him that he... Right. Um, Who can say that? Yeah. Half lemon. Well, it's not technically half lemonade, half ice. It's mostly iced tea with a little bit of lemonade. Yeah. Splash of lemonade. Exactly. Okay. So. You ever been with somebody who actually knows the difference and they'll say that to a waitress? And they'll be like, I don't know what you're talking about. I just thought it was half and half. You know, they're a purist. <laughs> they want to know. Bruce Springsteen's self pen memoir hits the store shelves tomorrow, and apparently the reviews are already out. And they're really good. Really good. So it's yeah. titled Born to Run. The new autobiography is a personal perspective on what shaped the life of the legendary rocker. In the book, he talks about seeing Elvis Presley on the Ed Sullivan show and how it changed his life. He also talks about life off stage and the struggles he's had with depression. Hmm. Many say, even if you aren't a fan of the boss, the book is well worth the read.